What's good? This is uh, Justin Von back with um, a quick tutorial. Um, I saw uh, that someone posted a video on how to do the uh, DJ Mustard snare uh, clap, snare roll, or you know the snare roll effect. So I'm gonna just um, preview this beat, let you hear exactly what it is, what I'm talking about, and then I'll. Uh, show you how this is accomplished. Alright, there it is. Um, by default, um, this is how your Logic browser is set up. You want to come up here and switch it to custom. And then now it's going to switch over to where as though you can see the time, you can see whether well, it's a 4-4, four, four, and you can see how many counts it is within that 4-4. Four, four. So what you want to do um, is switch it to a higher number. Like right now, my beat is at 120 BPM. So if you were at like 60 BPM, you would probably have to do maybe 96 here we have the snare roll and if you look you can see that the velocity the color the colors on my uh, on, on my notes are slightly different so if if it was at a 16 you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to draw these notes in so right now I'm gonna just show you from scratch what I did I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete these and then show you how I did it. You want to just start drawing your notes in. All of my notes are now the same velocity, so if you was to listen to it, it's not going to sound like a rise. So what you want to do is you want to go over to this uh, MIDI draw icon. You want to bring it up. And you want to make sure that this right here is selected, your note velocity. If your note velocity isn't selected, that's how you just pretty much. So then you want to select your pencil tool. And I usually like to start from like 60. You want to start a, a, a note right before your first note. You want to click and then draw a line. And then now the velocity or how hard that note is going to hit to trigger that sound. So let's just uh, hear what it sounds like now. Right now, I got this sent through a bus, which is my reverb, and that's what's giving it that 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 bright tail end. So, quick tutorial, simple. I saw someone posted a video, um, and the way they did it, it just was it just was wrong, and it didn't sound it didn't sound good. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time doing a lot of research, like throughout the years, because FL Studio is like a beast when it comes to, you know, how user friendly it is. And when I switched over from PC to Mac, I had a hard time trying to figure out how to do certain things within um, within Logic Nine and then now Logic Pro X. So, um, if you found that this video was uh, useful. Um, you know, please like it, share it with others, um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, check out my other videos, um, and stay tuned, there'll be, uh, more tracks coming. Peace.